uh, video game sequels uh, that I uh, desire. So uh, this is going to be, uh, you know, a video about sequels uh, that I would love to see, right? So uh, this is, uh, for the most part, uh, most of these sequels uh, have not been confirmed or announced. Uh, these are just my uh, desires. And I uh, leave down below your sequels, like uh, for, uh, you know, uh, video game sequels from past games uh, that you want to see come back. Uh, the first one here now uh, for me, and uh, first off, uh, subscribe, uh, you know, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe. Uh, the first one here uh, for me is going to be uh, Returnal 2. Uh, Returnal 1, you know, is a roguelike game, and a roguelike game is uh, basically, you know, uh, if you die, you get uh, sent back uh, to uh, like a fixed point, right? So uh, Returnal 1, I, I loved a lot for its biomes, for the weapons you got, for the enemies for the you know the uh, projectiles uh, the mini bosses bosses etc and as well the, the many different environments i you know i get to go to i uh, think about a returnal uh, that i made so fun is that every time uh, you died right and i came back right uh, the environments uh, tend to change uh, with a returnal too uh, they could bring back uh, more weapons more overall weapon uh, a variety bringing uh, like a rail gun even or uh, like a black hole gun or some sort of powerful uh, grenade gun or something like that and they could even bring in new levels so new actual environments and make uh, like some sort of uh, you know this crazy ass uh, futuristic uh, forest environment or i don't know you know uh, there's so many things that they could do like with new biomes in in our you know our eternal two new bosses as well i just imagine other bosses but yeah our eternal two i love to see come back and as well uh, with the huge influx of playstation uh, exclusive games i would uh, also uh, you know i love to see infamous three come back all right sorry the uh, infamous series come back so infamous i uh, technically it is infamous four right as uh, there was no uh, infamous second son i uh, was the infamous three infamous three uh, i love to see um you know infamous like you basically have like these powers you know you can drain elemental powers infamous uh, second son from smoke to video to neon to concrete infamous three there was uh, electricity to ice to napalm uh, with a future uh, infamous series and as well infamous two there is this open-ended thing you can either play as good or bad and uh, depending on uh, which which uh, path you go on the actual changes are uh, there are changes at the end of the game and uh, there is this a uh, change like the infamous 2 right uh, where you know possibly uh, there's a possibility uh, that the main character comes back so uh, like with infamous 4 or infamous 3 and uh, they could really uh, expand uh, like on the abilities or the powers and uh, maybe uh, for the next game i uh, get a uh, water powers or some sort of uh, acid based powers or you know are you bring back lightning or smoke or whatever you know there's so many things they could do wood there's so many things that they could do like with infamous game and as well uh, moral choices a uh, more uh, morality choices as well so yeah uh, infamous three uh, definitely i would definitely i uh, want to see this comeback another one now is a very popular franchise it's witcher uh, the witcher 4 witcher 4 i'm not sure if uh, this was ever announced or uh, revealed but a Witcher 4, I would really want to see come back. I would really want to see uh, the Witcher series come back. It's been almost eight. It's been eight years since the Witcher 3. Or uh, really seven years because they did the DLCs which came out after. Uh, like a year after. But Witcher, I love the Witcher. The exploration and the world and the story. And it's just so well done. Everything fits so well together. With a Witcher 4, uh, the one thing uh, that would, uh, you know, a Witcher 3, I you know, at times I didn't I didn't like the uh, mechanics. Sometimes uh, the mechanics felt kind of I don't know choppy or I just don't know. But with the uh, mechanics in uh, Witcher Four, uh, they could uh, improve them, uh, improve the fighting mechanics, the movement, uh, the movement, the uh, horse riding uh, mechanics, etc. Witcher Four, they could uh, introduce uh, like the new lands. It's very much uh, like a medieval fantasy, Viking fantasy, or whatever. And yeah. Uh, newer characters, new dialogue options, except new powers, upgrades, and you know, and as well, uh, are they gonna bring back Siri? Are we gonna see more of Yennefer? Obviously, a Geralt is gonna be in there, a Vizimir, and yeah, etc. But uh, uh, which are four I would uh, really want to see come back. Another big one for me, this is a big, big, big one, is uh, a Melgar Rising 2. I really want a Melgar Rising 2. I'm not sure if it's 
are going to be possible as you know uh, the guy who made uh, the Metal Gear series is no longer with that company so uh, Hideo Akajima is no longer with uh, Konami uh, that's been almost uh, eight years now so I'm not sure if uh, they can bring back uh, the franchise I loved a uh, Metal Gear Rising for its fast-paced action the slow motion uh, abilities the you know hack and slash feeling to it the boss battles the soundtracks the uh, various different you know and as well the various uh, training arenas etc a Metal Gear Rising is just a very fun game I uh, one and I uh, was a Metal Gear Rising 2 uh, the one thing about Metal Gear Rising uh, where uh, I could have improved is the length uh, length uh, you know a Metal Gear Rising I could have been longer with a Metal Gear Rising 2 I could be longer hopefully and as well you know uh, give us more uh, uh, you know uh, fighting options and as well, uh, make it so, you know, I give us uh, something like uh, perks or uh, power-ups, etc. Or I could even add in uh, like an arcade mode, you know, like a side arcade mode. That would be very cool. And as well, bring back uh, guys, uh, you know, characters like a Jetstream Sam, a Resurrect him, right? Or, you know, a Monsoon, etc. But yeah, a Melga Rising 2, I really want to see a Melga Rising 2. The soundtrack was what really, I love the... I love the soundtrack and the boss battles is what really carried that game. But yeah, Metal Gear Rising 2 uh, for sure. Another one, uh, you guys might not know this game is Flat Head On for the PSP, right? Flat Head On for the PSP. Flat Head On 2. I kind of think Flat is like a mix between Burnout, Need for Speed, and Dirt. Uh, various uh, different games. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Flat Head On, uh, what was very fun you would do uh, like a demolition derby, you would do like a race, you do like a time trial. It was very fun, right? And uh, racing, uh, you know, the graphics are like pretty good like, for the PSP. The racing uh, mechanics are like pretty good for PSP. A uh, flat head on is uh, just a very fun experience. Flat head on too, you could bring in more cars, you could bring in more air, you know, more, uh, you know, attracts to race on, more. Uh, arenas uh, there was even arenas where you could literally play you know like this ramp challenge so it's so cool this you know where there's there's this one uh, ejector seat but it's very 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 cool flat head on to i would really i love to see you know uh, it's been a long long time so it's been 16 years 17 years since we've seen 15 years since we've seen flat head on but yeah definitely i would definitely i want to see a flat head on too a big one now, another big one now for me is Prototype 3. The company went out of business, so I did not, you know, I have to manage my uh, expectations with this one. But Prototype 3, definitely, I love Prototype 2, right? Prototype 2 with the vast amount of abilities you get. Super speed, slicing through enemies, shape shifting, superhuman durability, run up walls, right? Etc. You know, all those different types of abilities. Prototype 3. They could introduce like a new, uh, you know, a protagonist. Like from Prototype 1 to 2, they switch the a protagonist, right? Uh, well, they didn't switch it. They introduced like a new a protagonist. And uh, like a new, and as well, Prototype 3 could, could, you know, introduce new enemies. And as well as newer, you know, powers, newer features. Could they introduce perks? Uh, like some sort of an arcade mode, uh, you know, a continue on that radnet. Uh, you know, or you know, uh, which is very much about extra content, end game content, and yeah, a prototype three uh, would also be hopefully as long as the previous prototype two, right? And yeah, but uh, definitely prototype three. I really want this game, and you know, other things too. For, uh, for example, uh, the power sets that you get in the game, you can turn your hands into these deadly shapes, into these deadly uh, killer weapons, and uh, yeah, are you basically like Wolverine on steroids? You're like Wolverine, but uh, you know, uh, just more powerful, but yeah, definitely, and the open world as well. Uh, the last game, no, uh, uh, you know, is going to be Just Cause 5. Just for, uh, this is going to be uh, like a part one, part two. Just Cause 5, definitely, I really want to see a Just Cause 5. Just Cause 5, um, you know, a Just Cause 3 and Just Cause 4, what's special about Just Cause is the world. The world in Just Cause, so, you know, it's huge, like, the, it's massive. Uh, the world and the grappling hook. So, Just Cause 4, 3's map was 500 square miles for, uh, you know, the actual video game map. That's huge. That's massive. Just Cause 3, you know, uh, you had the grappling hook. You had the wingsuit. The lightning gun. You had the mech. The mech is very fun. 
you add other things to like extra DLC content. Just Cause 4, same type of deal. Just Cause 4 was slightly mediocre, was slightly mediocre in some aspects in the a progression system. So Just Cause 5, you would bring back, you know, things like, you know, obviously you'd have uh, the grappling hook. Uh, you bring back other things to like the a multi, a grenade, a cluster, a grenade, right? The a wind gun, the lightning gun, etc. You would introduce new vehicles, new DLC vehicles. Just cause you can fly planes, jets, sea vehicles, and you know, fast cars, civilian vehicles, so many things like in just cars, like vehicles. But definitely, I would definitely want to see a just cars five come back. I know Square Enix just made that that a Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy sixteen, and I'm not sure if they're gonna do more Final Fantasy remakes, so uh, they might be busy. But definitely, I would really want to see a just cause five come on this current uh, generation. The last just cause was four, so. That's 2018, so that's, that's a five years ago now, almost six years. But definitely, I would definitely want to see Just Cause 5. But thanks, like, share, subscribe, leave down below sequels uh, you want to see. Thank you.